All right, guys, John here with Sergeant Reds, and today we have Red with us, and also traveling up from the great state of Ohio. Yeah, I mean, Ohio. Let's it's take a, it's a state, we'll say that. The state of Ohio is uh, Mike, and we've bought stuff before from you, right? You bought my inhumanoids. I bought you inhumanoids. Yeah, I drove down, met you last time, but this time he the came up. The one that took a bath, the yes. saga. Yeah, no, it wasn't yes. the same one, but the same toy, but not the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and then we have Mike's dad. dad. He brought yeah. his dad because they have two carloads of toys. Yeah. So. yeah. How did you feel about the, the carload of toys driving up Ohio? It wasn't bad, except that it's been there like two and a half weeks in the house. Okay. <laughs> I had to move stuff just to put my groceries. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. So exactly. Let's check this out over here, and then uh, carload number one. Carload number one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going. All Lord of the Rings, right? Uh, Lord of the Rings. I got some more. Oh, I forget some Marvel Legends too. So. So, so tell me why you have all the Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, I mean, I uh, love the movies back yeah. in the mid down or early uh, 20 plus years. <laughs> wow, 20 years. Don't make us all bull. Wow. <laughs> um, I love the figures. I mean, Toy Biz did great work. I mean, the sculpts, the paint, the accessories were top notch. Um, I mean, these were like six, seven bucks and they came out too, which was hysterical. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, you got bases, you got accessories, and there's great looking figures. There were so many of them too. Yeah, it was two carloads at least. Now, were, yeah. you, were you the guy that sat and watched the, the whole movie? Uh, the all of them? Yes, actually, the we did the uh, first one was a regular showing, the second two, the, first, the second one was a midnight showing, and the third one we did something called Trilogy Tuesday, yeah. um, which was only like 20 uh, theaters around the, uh, around the country, and they played the extended editions of one and two with the uh, Return of the King early showing at 10. And uh, we got like discount food, oh, awesome. and then the uh, reps from New Line came out with each theater and gave us all the little film stuff. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it was really cool. Then um, a couple years, actually the year The Hobbit came out, um, AMC did a marathon of all three extended editions, like 14 hours. And my buddy and I went and did that. And that wow. Was, it, was, it was a good day. It was fun. Die yeah. hard fans. Oh yeah. Things are kind of bad. I mean, the boxes are in good shape. Yeah, yeah they're in storage for quite some time. A little dusting here. Yeah, right. Wait, you didn't dust them? No. I, <laughs> so. I told you to dust them, Dad. Come on. <laughs> the fire, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we won't go through everything right here. You've seen my third floor. I know. I wish you had a call. I'm not seeing your third floor. I heard you getting a lot of other stuff. <laughs> These are all totes. How much is in here? Did you put everything in your dad's car? No, I have a couple of mine. He has one thing in his car, so we can yeah. turn around. So these are all uh, Lord of the Rings figures. Yep, these are the later figures. Yeah, Shadow Bishop. Toy Biz. Toy Biz? Yep. Toy Biz. They are known for their. Three beard. Yeah. 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 I got the big one too. He talks. Yeah. So cool. Oh, why are you Are you open? I just, I mean, I, I you know, no room for them anymore. I just not enjoying them. I think something else good. I mean, they're great looking figures. And I think it's, Did I, you have them displayed at some point? I, I bought a couple extras to display, like Gandalf, Frodo, and some of yeah. that. But, you know, there's just so many of them. I just don't have room for them. Yeah. And he's really single, collecting the dress. <laughs> oh! Okay, oh, it's a different story. It's a missus thing, all right. It's, it's me and the ogre. <laughs> oh, no, no, I mean, my wife, she, she buys toys too. Because if Denise made that, I'd be like, yeah, sorry, baby, I got an ogre. I mean, <laughs> I mean my wife, she, she buys uh, some uh, toys every day too, so, but yeah. there's just no room for anything, and you know, I just can't do it. There's work, so. There's definitely a lot of toys. Now, how much more is in your car? Um, I have, I think, Two Lord of the Rings and one Marvel basketball loose stuff too. Okay, sweet. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing going. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Scarlet Witch figure people are liking it. Yeah, uh, uh, that's what's his name, the actor. Uh, Anise. Anise Dill, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it was something like that. Uh-oh. Red is snapping. Uh-oh. Red is snapping. You're breaking your butt. I know, that's why I don't want to... I don't want to mess it up. Well, that's not raining, because yesterday... Oh, I was so worried about that, yeah. I was on the car last night, and it was like... This guy was going, oh no, don't rain. <laughs> <laughs> don't rain. Well, we had a little leak on the inside. Oh. Uh, when we walked there, we had a little leak on the inside. We had a little leak on the inside. We got some more Lord of the Rings, guys. Yeah. Is that your ex? Very funny. <laughs> uh, he's a little more handsome. Wow. This guy, not your ex. So cool. So what do you think, Dad? What? Oh, this, this was in your house, right? Yes. So are you happy this to have this This was this. He used to have Simpson figures. He used to have... Star Wars figures. Yeah. I almost oh. bought the Simpsons, or the Star Wars figures, but we just couldn't line up and you ended up selling it to someone else in the bag. Yeah. And, Unfortunately, uh, but. So we were thinking that my wife passed away back in August 1st. Oh, I'm sorry. And, uh, sorry. Uh, and we're thinking to put the house on the market. We're like, you got to clean up the third floor. Get out. <laughs> what else is on the third floor? I'll follow you back. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, my Dick Tracy blind figure. Oh, you should have brought that one. That was the best thing. I would have actually was yeah. on so the Dick Tracy figure, the blank one, is the most rare one. That was the one that was, uh, well, everyone's probably seen it by now, let's go see it. Madonna was blank. You figure it out by buying the toy, because you can see it with Madonna. You couldn't find that toy. I was a legend. The legend of the toys. <laughs> is that, um, it is a, the, the figures didn't sell very well, because they weren't very kid friendly. Yeah. And the, uh, movie spoiler of Madonna being the blank. Sorry, it's been like 40 years. I was going to say, yeah. yeah spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but if you have the mask, it was revealed. Yeah. And so, um, I think Playmates got pulled up in the U.S. and became a Sears mail order catalog over. Uh, okay. Yeah, that might be the old stuff, right? Well, you know where to go if you ever want to pull that one. I can uh, drive down there or meet up here or we can meet in the middle like that. Time I bought the humanoids. Yeah, this is a good figure. Oh, okay. That's good. And this thing. Let me see. Twice. Yeah. Am I with them? Yeah, good I am. I am. Not quite as diehard as you. I just support them a little bit. There you go. I think Dad needs for to get a <laughs> for storage and then for a travel fee. Yeah. There's a McDonald's and a Bible burger and a milkshake. He's going all out. He's going all out. Biggie size. Make sure he's biggie size, Rich. Oh, yeah. Uh, You'll go crazy. Double mac and cheese or something like that. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give him some cheese on the hamburger. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what do you think, Dave? Do you I like the awesome. yeah. What? Thanks for bringing up. I'm not interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have the biggest Lord of the Rings section probably in the entire state, <laughs> at least for a little while. And it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, cool. We'll go through it all in a little bit more detail. Um, yeah, help me find a lot of these. I remember I was living in Athens going to OU, and you were in uh, Mansfield. I called a Target in Columbus, and they had the Twilight Frodo. And I was like, dude, it's like, I'm talking about Adrian's right to come this now. Okay, Michael. Oh, so, uh, what he, a good dad. He had, he had a friend that worked at Walmart, like third shift, so they get something in the mic mic. He, he hide it behind something. Oh, jeez. You're one of those he, guys, he, huh? He called me at I used to 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I was got to get up and go get this thing. I was working as I worked for Walmart, so I would look up and see what stores were in stuff, and then go there like 10 o'clock at night when the stuff was on the floor, and then raid the pallets. Oh, oh man, that's so those stories you hear are true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, if you had the advantage, I mean, it's just... I mean, I tell you, it's like yeah, it's it was, we went hunting together, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. he's done two, uh, no, we did, uh, episode three Star Wars figures with the Midnight Madness. Yeah. So, yeah, that was fun. Wait, so, Dad, do you collect anything? No? <laughs> <laughs> just some bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that was a sweet Lord of the Rings collection. We'll go through it more in detail. 
probably maybe later in this video, but I want to show you what we got going on today. Who's here? I'm going to turn this around. Hold on. The fabulous Mr. Foxley. What time is it? It is, oh, it's 8.45. Yep. Brian is hardcore. He's been here for the last two weeks getting this stuff knocked out. Look at this trim work. Look at this slat wall. If it wasn't for this man, this place wouldn't be going as far as it is. But, I mean, it's looking like a shop now, guys, right? We're waiting on the flooring. We got the front windows in. What do you think, Brian? How's it look? Great. You're just saying that because you did it. I think it's gonna be up there. The world. the world! But yeah, we've been in here busting our butts since what time we get here this morning? 8.30? We've been here for since 8.30. Um, Abad came in, did some more patchwork. We're getting all the, the trim work done, all the caulking. But I mean, look at this place, guys. We are gonna have all this filled with toys sooner rather than later. We're waiting on what? The flooring, the sign, gutters, and the plumber. I mean, that's pretty much what's left. So, electric's done. Um, Plumber just got to come in, he's supposed to put in our pooper. Yeah, look at these shelves up here. We're gonna have, and you can see we have like a snake mountain up here. That was just, we were just testing. This isn't the actual shelving we're gonna have, but I wanted to see the height. Um, so we're gonna have the shelves over there. We have these shelves that we put over the beams, which are obviously not finished yet. They're finished, they're not, there's no, they don't have a finish on them, I should say. But you can see they perfectly fit a neck of gremlin. But um, it's getting there, we got a couple more slat wall pieces to cut. And then the two of us are getting out of here. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man's here though. He's here to stay. Get it? Stay Puff. Ha ha ha. All right guys, we're getting back to work. It's the fabulous Mr. Foxley in his natural habitat. Cutting wood. Very, very good at cutting wood. What do you think, Brian? I'm getting some spy footage of you in your natural habitat. We're doing our rail going up to the attic area. Here's all the Lord of the Rings toys. Let's go through a couple of them while we're uh, going at it. So we have uh, the horse and riders here. So we have uh, Legolas with his horse and Aragorn, Aragorn rather, with his horse. There's a ton of these figures, guys. Prologue Bilbo. We have uh, Aragon for the Two Towers. We have Gandalf the White. There's just tons of these. I don't think Gollum works. Batteries toast on him. Funny story, I had a guy I worked with, and uh, I used to make fun of him. It was probably not the nicest thing, but I said he looked like Gollum because he had like, big eyes. I mean, he didn't look like Gollum. But he had like, Gollum eyes, so I bought one of these figures for him and put it on his desk. We had a, a very small office we had to share. But he thought it was funny. It was all in good jest. He used to do all kinds of stuff to me too, so. All's fair, love and war, right? So we probably won't go through all these like we normally do. There's just so many of them. But I figured we'd go through some of them just to show you guys a little uh, taste of what we have going on here. And these are pretty cool figures. So did you enjoy Lord of the Rings? If so, what is your favorite episode? Or well, I guess favorite, um... Oh, I guess the yeah, episode works, right? We can call them episodes. Ah, look at all these things. I think we have one of every single figure that they made for Lord of the Rings. I might uh, actually go watch this again. It's been a long, long time since I've seen them. We got the giant Balrog. That thing's huge. You got the Black Gate of Mordor. Some of these bigger box sets are actually um, pretty cool. I wish they had the boxes that would flip open so you could see what was inside. I mean, you can see the Ring, uh, ring Wraith Rider. Yeah, with this more Lord of the Rings stuff. They basically did something that looks like for every one of the trilogy. Here's some of the Marvel Legends stuff we have. We have the Collector. These are pretty cool because on the other side you have the Grandmaster. This old Jeff Goldblum. Okay, I can't grab it. There we go. Just got a couple more Lord of the Ring figures in here. 
And the Legends, they're all um, the newer ones. No, there's some older ones, actually. Ex-Con Lewis. I want to say he yeah, had, I think it was his tote. Yep. Some more Legends are in here. So we have a good chunk of Marvel Legends. This adds a lot to our, our collection and our inventory, which is nice. We have more up here. We have the Ragnarok. Um, the WandaVisions. Winter Soldier. So those must be newer, just because that movie or that series just came out. That's Spidey. Grandmaster and Korg. We'll get some cool ones in here. These are the 25th anniversary ones, right? 10th anniversary? No, this is the yeah, the first 10 years, not 25. Jeez. The movies haven't been out that long. Black Panther, Killmonger. Or uh, Killmonger and uh, Everett Ross, rather. Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. Red Skull. Ronan, Tony Stark, and Iron Man Mark I. So there's some cool stuff in here. Oh, that was clearance. What was that bad boy? Got Iron Man. And he was $24.99 and $17.48 was what he purchased that at, it looks like. Well, that stinks. He's got a little bit of damage on that guy. The Hulk and Hulk Buster one. Thor the Dark World. Iron Man 3. Infinity War. Another Red Skull. Red Skull. He really likes his Red Skulls. Captain Marvel. And another Red Skull. So, the rest of this stuff is all um, Lord of the Rings figures. But, I mean, guys, tons of stuff. So, I have this one area of the building that's pretty much done. I'm still waiting on these windows up here. And once I get those in, we'll swap them out. The only thing we're waiting on is that we ordered the ones with the bronze frames. Like the black color. Um, the same as the rest of them outside. But I wanted the ones back here to open since this is like the office area. Um, so this stuff back here, it's a nice dust-free area. It's finished for the most part. I'm going to start getting all this stuff priced and uh, ready to throw on the shelves. But that's just a quick sneak peek of what we have. Oh, wait, we got another horse right in there. It looks like we have Gandalf and his horse. So, but this stuff's going on the shelves. We're going to have a ton of Lord of the Rings stuff, guys. Pretty cool movie series and uh, I guess it's a pretty cool toy. Anyways, guys. We're going to get back to work, we're going to finish these steps, and then we're going to go grab some chow. But we got a lot of stuff we're getting ready to do. We have some cool stuff. We're hopefully, hopefully be opening here, um, hopefully in the next month or so. Uh, we're waiting for the rest of the flooring, and that's supposed to be in the next week or so. Um, the gutter's metal, like I said. But make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, because you don't want to miss some of the stuff we're going to be doing here. Um, we got some cool stuff planned, so check it out, and uh, I'm going to get back to work. We'll see you all next time.